29 forecast. All right, the weather cam tells the weather story because the wet, soggy weather will be with us for quite some time. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Here's the view live from downtown Charlottesville looking off to the northwest. We've got the raindrops on the camera lens. It's been raining for the better part of the past couple of hours. A steady soaking rainfall will be with us all night long and into parts of your Tuesday, even Wednesday. Off and on showers are back in the forecast along with abnormally cool temperatures for a change. We go from a heat wave to below average temperature over the next couple of afternoons in your first forecast for tonight, a slow drop in temperature from the 60s into the 50s. It will rain all night long, a soggy start to your Tuesday areas of hilltop mountaintop fog in the 50s for the better part of the morning, barely out of the 50s tomorrow, mostly in the lower 60s, a northeast breeze. The steadiest rain will fall in the morning and then it will become more showery and drizzly Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night. Right now, your four o'clock readings are in the 50s and the 60s. Over the last two, two or three days, we've had temperatures well into the 90s, so well below that now. 63 Charlottesville in the 50s at Stanton. NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope is showing mostly light showers from Buckingham County. Zoom on in here. You can see a steady rain that we saw in the weather cam there in Charlottesville and downtown Albemarle County. There's Scottsville along the James River seeing some light rain showers. Crozet north on 29. We're also seeing the rainfall into green Madison Culpeper County is where you see the deeper shades of green. That's more steady rain. The pockets of heavy rainfall are shifting away from Orange and Louisa counties, at least right now. But we've had some pockets of rainfall down into Fluvanna County. There's a live view. That's what it looks like on the radar in northern Emerald County and Charlottesville. That's what it looks like on the weather cam. The traffic camera at uh, Route 29 and Rio Road. You can see the wet pavement out here. The cars have to use their windshield wipers. That's going to be the picture over the next couple of days. Soggy weather off and on. Now the severe weather is staying to our south. In fact, there's tornado warnings going on right now in the Raleigh-Durham Metro, especially at uh, Wake Forest. Tornado warning for those folks. But the severe weather this go around is staying well to our south. We just had this solid shield of rain all the way down to North Georgia and Alabama and the Great Smoky Mountains. So where is it going? Well, future cast shows tonight and tomorrow morning widespread rain locally heavy at times rain through midday and then the steadiest rain will shift away in the afternoon, but we're left behind with clouds, mist, drizzle right through Wednesday. A good soaking rainfall inch or two locally higher amounts could cause some localized Flooding concerns, especially over South Side Virginia, but even here we could have some local high water issues. Our next cold front arrives in the Thursday Friday time frame with our next chance for showers and storms, but it will dry out and warm back up just in time for Memorial Day weekend with highs back in the 80s, especially next Sunday and also for next Monday. Your forecast for tonight, rainy with areas of fog, a northeast breeze, overnight lows in the 50s. We will struggle to get out of the 50s tomorrow. Our average high is 79, so well below that. Mostly upper 50s and low 60s for your Tuesday. Showers, steady rain in the morning, more showery and drizzly in the afternoon with overcast skies, hilltop fog. Seven day forecast, cloudy skies on Wednesday, low 60s, cloudy with areas of drizzle, an evening shower and storm on Thursday. It may linger into Friday now in the 70s and so far so good for Memorial Day weekend. Drier and warmer 80s by day, low 60s overnight.